jama'a masu kallon mu assalamu alaikum Zahra Aminu Fage ce ke farin cikin kasancewa da ku a wani sabon shirin taskar VOA daga nan Birnin Washington DC A cikin shirin na wannan makon zamu duba matsalolin da ake cin karo da su yayin da ƴan Najeriya ke fadi tashin canza tsofaffun kudi zuwa sabbi gabannin cikar wa'adi Mun duba dalilan da babban bankin Najeriya ya bayar da daukan matakin sauya fasalin kudin kasar a daidai wannan lokaci. Sannan mun leka Kano da Maiduguri inda wasu ƴan kasuwa suke rufe wuraren sana'o'in su saboda karancin sabbin kudi a hannun masu sayayya. Shirin taska na wannan makon zai duba batun sauya fasalin manyan takardun kudi a Najeriya ne. Tun a watan Oktoba da babban bankin Najeriya CBN ya sanar da shirin sauya fasalin naira 2500 da kuma dubu daya ake ta ci gaba da kairuwa ranar tsakanin ƴan Najeriya da ƴan majalisa da kuma jami'an babban bankin kasar. Babban bankin dai yace ya dauki matakin sauya fasalin kudin ne domin ceto tattalin arziki. Ganin cewa kimanin naira trillion biyu da biliyan 700 suna hannun mutane ne a gidaje mai makon kasancewar sa a bankuna ana jujjuyawa. Bankin ya kuma ce daukan matakin dai na amfani da tsofaffun kudin zai taimaka wajen yaki da ta'addanci. To sai dai ai watar da wannan mataki ya haifar da matsaloli da dama hada hadar kasuwanci a wurare da dama ta tsaya cak yayin da mutane da yawa suka kasa samun sabbin takardun kudin kuma wa'adin da babban bankin ya iba na farko na 31 ga watan janairu yazo mutane sun ta yin dogayen layika a wuraren cire kudi da bankuna bankuna sun cika da mutane masu son canza tsofaffun kudin su kafin wa'adi na 31 ga watan janairu Sabbin takardun kudin dai sun yi karanci a hannun jama'a abin da yasa har wa suke sayar da sabbin kudin a kasuwar bayan fage. Gani irin wahalar da mutane ke sha wajen yin canjin da kuma matsin lamba da yake fuskanta daga wurare daban-daban. Babban bankin kasar ya sanar da ƙara wa'adin da na amfani da tsofaffun takardun kudi zuwa ranar 10 ga watan Fabrairin nan. A lokacin da ya bayyana a gaban kwamitin majalisar wakilan Najeriya Gwamnan babban bankin kasar Godwin Emefeli yace bankuna za su ci gaba da karban tsofaffun takardun kudi har bayan wa'adin 10 ga wannan wata na Fabrairu. Domin tattauna wannan batu mun gayyato Dr. Said Tafida, masanin tattalin arziki ne a Najeriya kuma jagoran kungiyar bin diddigi da tabbatar da adalci wato transparency and accountability in totality. Dr. Barka da kasanciya tare da mu a cikin shirin. Hajiya Zara, Barka da yamma, Barka da yamma ci mu a nan Najeriya amma a wurin ku zan iya cewa Barka da yi ne. Jama'a barkan mu da kokari, barkan mu da saurare. Amma kafin nan bari mu fara daga Abuja inda Alassan Bala ya hada mana wannan rahoto a game da dalilan da suka sa babban bankin Najeriya bullo da tsarin sauya fasalin manyan takardun kudin kasar. Alassan gare ka. A cikin watan Oktoban 2022 wato watanni uku da suka gabata kenan babban bankin Najeriya ya sanar da shirin sauya fasalin manyan takardun kudin kasar. Babban bankin ya ce ya dauki wannan mataki ne domin shawakan wasu matsaloli da ake fama da su a bangaren hadahadar kudin kasar saboda daukar dogon lokaci da aka yi ba a sauya fasalin manyan takardun kudin ba. Daga cikin matsalolin kamar yadda bankin ya sanar akwai kimanin naira trillion 27 da mutane ke rike da su a hannun su sabanin juya su a bankuna lamarin da ke mummunan tasiri ga tattalin arzikin kasar an ga yawan mutane cewa wannan abin ba canji bane wato ba wai zaka kawo 100 a baka 100 bane abin da ake so ai shine a janye yawan kudin da ke yawo saboda amfani da wasu hanyoyi na cin kaya kaman su internet banking wanda zaka zaka yi transfer ko none ai kaga shi ba a kaide shi ba sannan aka zo aka ce ga POS ga ATM ko sannan ga da wadanda muke cin musu PSB payment service bank a lokacin da bankuna suka fara fitar da sabbin kudin a watan disamba an yi ta cece ku ce a wasu wurare wasu sun soki yadda bankuna ba su fara ba mutane sabbin kudin kamar yadda aka sanar ba 
wasu ma sun soke fasalin sabon kudin inda suke cewa tamkar launi kawai aka canza kuma kudin ba za su yiyar buga jabin su ba jami'an babban bankin sun kore wannan zargi ba wai kawai an canza kala bane inda muke gani kuma ko kalan kudin guda daya ai zaka ga kowanne din ba wai kala daya bane yanzu in kaga wannan dubu ne a gani ai tana da kaloli fiye da uku ko hudu wadanda zaka gani balle wannan kuma ga fari ga me yake ce ma pink eh ni ban san kaloli da ba so ga ga kowanne yana da nashi alamomin wadanda idan ka duba sun sha bamban da wadanda mutane suka sani a watan na oktoba da babban bankin ya sanar da matakin ya tsaye da ranar 31 ga watan janairu a matsayin ranar daina amfani da tsofaffin takardun manyan kudin amma rashin wadatuwar sabbin kudin a hannun jama'a da matsanar cikin wahalar da mutane ke fuskanta wajen canza tsofaffin kudin su a banki babban bankin Najeriya ya kara wa'adin daina amfani da tsofaffin kudin zuwa 10 ga watan fabareru sannan a lokacin da ya bayyana a gaban kwamitin majalisar wakilan Najeriya domin amsa tambayoyi game da matsalolin da ake fuskanta na canja kudin Godin Emepeli ya ce bankuna za su gaba da karbar tsofaffin kudin ko bayan cikar wa'adin ranar 10 ga watan fabareru babban bankin dai ya ce ya cin mana nasarar kashi 77 cikin dare na matakin dawo da kudaden da suke hannun jama'a a gidaje zuwa bankuna Alhasan Bala Taskar VOA daga Abuja Nigeria to a gaishe da alasan yanzu bari in zo gare ka dr Said Tafida kwanaki da muka tattauna da kai ka soki wa'adin da aka bayar na 31 ga watan janairu shin ka gamsu da karin kwanakin da aka yi yanzu jama'a barkan mu da war haka maganar gaskiya nayi maganar nan kwanaki kuma yanzu zan sake maimaitawa ita dukan aka ce an yi ta kuma an yi ta ne don jama'a su karu ko don a canja al'amari ba a yin ta kuma don a galla za musu ya zama sun wahala ciki yanayi na mutum wannan ba harkar tattalin ili tattalin arziki bane duk mun san wannan duk inda ka tura mutum ka kai shi bango to ka sani zai dawo da wani abin da sai ta sake kwanci abin da da kake tattalawa maimako a bada lokaci da ya kamata a ce ai amfani da wannan a samu a dawo da kudi cikin kwanciyar hankali wanda ba zai hana tsaye da duk abubuwan da ita babban banki ke son yi ba amma a a aka tsaya kas aka ce dole sai wannan rana yanzu don an kara kwana goma bai sa wai an cire kunci da mutane ke ciki ba jama'a sun je sun cika bankana don suna neman mafita kowa na tsorace sai ga kaman za a samu wata matsala don me an riga an bada dakin ban tsoron an firgita kowa an ce kowa sai yayi to dr za mu dawo gare ka to yanzu kuma bari mu leka Jos inda Ilyas Kasim ya duba mana matsalolin da jama'a suke fuskanta wajen canza tsofaffin kudin su da kuma rashin sababbin kudin a bankuna Ilyasu gare ka Cincinin da mutane masu son su ciri sabbin takaddun nerori daga na'urorin ATM kenan a Jos arewa ta tsakiyar Najeriya duk cewa babban bankin Najeriya CBN ya karo adin sauye tsaffin takaddun nerorin da sabbi da kwana goma matsalar karancin sabbin nerorin yana nan kamar ba a karo adin ba saboda jidalin da mutane ke ciki na samun sabbin kudin yace ka ga mutane sun yawa a line ji yawa za a zo za a sa kudi kadan a watan ATM in the first place ka gan ATM wannan sun kai shida za a sa kudi kadan a cikin guda daya da ya kare sai ka gan kuma sai a sai a sa a wata in wancan ya kare a dawa za a sa wata so abun bai zo mana da sauki ba ga ATM da yawa amma ba kuda da ya ciki gaskiya an sa mutane cikin wani hukuma ne domin ni din nan da kake gani na yanzu da ka sami naka nake karma jar ka duna karmar kuma lere a ce na zo na cire 2200 kudin mota 2200 na koma 2200 2200 sora na if you don't have number number is finished if you don't have just come number is finished join any life you want but i'm not the policy is a very good one but the major issue here is the timing kan tana da amfani babban matsalan ita ce lokacin da aka dibarwa dokan yayi kadan in ka zaga duniya zaka ga cewa canzawa kudi tsari da kamanni abu ne wanda yake kan hanya takaddun kudi suna bukata a sake kamannin su lokaci zuwa lokaci wannan wani saloni da duniya ta yarda da shi musamman ita naira 
lalle tana bukatar a sake mata tsari da kamanni domin yau shekara 20 kenan ba a sake mata wasu yan Najeriya sun dora alhakin karantin sabbin nerorin ne kan bankuna wasu ma zargin bankunan suke da rashin gaskiya a gani na sun dauri wannan kudade suna kiran wa'annan din domin ba sa wannan layin suna gidajen su kuma ana dauko kudin na ana kai musu domin a ba su fince ban managers to su min kuma su ragar ma gwamnati da manufofi da yayi domin mu talaka inda yi za a yi la'akari da rahoton wani gidan talbijin na Najeriya da ya nuna inda jami'an tsaron Najeriya suka kama wasu jami'an bankuna da laifin karbar hanci kafin su bayar da sabbin kudin to wannan zargi ya tabbata when you go to ATM you hardly see idan kaje na uraci ra kudi ba za ka ga masu kudi suna bin layi ba to a ina suke samun nasu kudin na ka wani bidiyon bikin aure a shafin zumunta inda aka tawatsa wadannan sabbin kudin a ina suka samu wadannan kudi haka bacin akwai iya yawan kudin da aka yarda a cira kuma zan iya yarda cewa manajojin bankuna suna hada baki da yan siyasa da manyan masu kudi shi yasa kudin yayi karanci dubu 20 kawai aka amince ka cira amma yanzu ma dubu 20 din ba ta samuwa to ina sabbin kudin suka shiga to hold the money particularly maybe because of this election that is coming up ko sabbin kudin za su wadaci jama'a kafin wa'adin 10 ga watan fabrairu a gaskiya extension ne in dai an ci gaba ana wahala yanda ana experience da bank din damuwar da ana experience daga bank din to extension din ba zai taimaka ba in da a ce extension din nan da aka yi za a rinka sa kudi a ATM a ko da yaushe to gaskiya zai mana amfani sosai amma in dai babu kudi a ATM zaka zo ka ga mu billahi ba zaka samu abinda kake so ba to gaskiya ba zai amfani ba daga jos nigeria ilyasu kasimu tasker voa maskallan mu shirin tasker ne ke zuwa muku daga nan birnin washington dc shirin zai ci gaba nan da dan lokaci al'umma nigeria Ranakun 25 ga watan Fabrairu da 11 ga watan Maris da ake ta dako da ina ƙara karatowa yayin da miliyoyin mutane a kasar ke shirin ka da kuribu a wannan babban zabe na shugaban kasa da gwamnoni da ƴan majalisu zaben da ake ganin zai sha bamban da sauran zabukan da suka gabata sashin Hausa na murya Amurka ya shirya tsab da muka muku labarai da dumudumunsu game da sharhi akan zabukan batutuwan katin zabe ตรงกับมาสกัดกุเรียอิซอวอร์มาดามันซาเบอารุมพุนันซาเบดะคุมะคายันซาบังอัลฮัสซันบะลาอบูจาบะรักะบะชิรดะกะคานูฮิมะด
sama da dubu ashirin a injin POS kuwa babu kudi dan kika duba yana yan kasuwa wasu ma sun haƙura da kasuwar ma sun rufa shagunan su sun haƙura da fitowa saboda ba masu siya idan kika duba babu inda ake irin wannan abin da aka yi a Najeriya a ce an canja kudi an ba da wani wa'adi ba fa magana wa'adi ba cewa magana ce ta duk abin da ya shiga kar ya fita yanzu idan kika duba America har yanzu ana karbar dalar da take ta 1999 wannan canja kudi ya kawo masallah bakatan ban har kwana biyu yanzu a cikin rufa na bai yi dubu da ne ko dubu da ban samu ban kudi kuma na je bankin karkar wani abu wanda zan dinga ce abuji da yara na ba magana kuma POS na je kudi an da baka dubu biya za a ce zaka biya wajen dubu da kokarin mutane ma ya fara takuwa a yanzu akwai matsala na biyun su a tunda demokradiya muke a Najeriya to yanzu ga fahimtar mu an koma komun sanci kasuwa gashi na ta daya cek dalilin wanda rashin kudi da yawa ta hannu mutane babu su in ka je banki ma babu su kon kosoma suka zo babu su abi da haka sai dai inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi raji'un babu kudin hannu kuma transfer ka zaka transfer babu babu network network babu babu kudi ba network babu sabon kudi tsofin an zo da shi ba za a karba ba shine matsalar da muke fuskanta muke fuskanta a wannan kasuwa shugaban kungiyar kasuwar sabon gari alhaji tijani ladan kuwa ya ce wannan tsari yayi tsauri duba da kasashen da suka ci gaba ana ba su lokaci mai tsayi abun ya dauke wajen shekara uku duk duniya ba inda ake canjin kudi rana tsaka a daukar mai wa'adi ki duba fa ke ga lokacin da aka ce za a fara ba da canjin kudin nan babu su fa kuma lokacin da aka kayyade za a daina karba kudin nan kuma an ce za a kayyade saboda haka saurin mai gwamnati take menene na sauri a ciki kudi na ta Al'umma kasa na ta ne mulki yake na siyasa ya kamata a duba al'umma ba ai abu na son zuciya ba wanda ko sun shuwa gabannin ba zai shafe su ba wannan ya shafi talakawa ya shafi harkar rayuwa yan kasuwa dai yana kokawa da matsanancin hali da suka tsinci kansu inda suka ce na abinci na neman gagarar su kazalika babu masu siye na gida da na waje dake ziyartar kasuwar Baraka Bashir Taskar VOA daga Kano a Nigeria wannan dai shine karo na biyu da Najeriya take sauya fasalin kudin ta karkashin gwamnatocin Muhammadu Buhari a shekara 1984 gwamnatin soji karkashin jagorancin Muhammadu Buhari ta sauya kudin kasar a wani mataki na yaki da cin hanci da rashawa sai dai karancin lokaci da aka ba jama'a na sauya kudaden su ya sa da dama yin babbar asara shin a ko a wannan karan an yi koyi darasi daga lamarin na shekara 1984 Husaina Muhammad ta aiko mana da wannan rahoton daga Maiduguri. A yanzu dai babban abin da ke ta da kura a Najeriya shine batun canjin kudi da kuma yadda sabbin kudaden za su wadata a kasar tare kuma da yadda mutane za su shigar da tsaffin kudaden su ba tare da tangar da ba. A halin da ake ciki yanzu dai al'umma na yin dafifi a bankuna da kuma injinan cirar kudi dan neman kudade inda wasu ke furucin cewa kamata yayi a wadata bankuna da sabbin kudaden dan kowa ya samu cikin sauki karin kwana goman da aka yi ni dai a dan kasuwa gaskiya mun sha wahala kuma muna ganin wahala sai dai kawai fatan Allah ya kawo mana saukin wannan abun in ba haka ba kan ban san me zan yi ce a kai ba dan kasuwa yau in ka je kowa bai da kudi kowa an ka tambaya bai da kudi babu kudi babu kudi so kaga duk dan kasuwa ina cikin wahala ba wani abin da zamu yace Allah dai ya kawo mana saukin sa amma ban san abin da zai kasance ba nan gaba kuma bayan shek kwana goma kuma yau an ce an kara kwana goma to kwana goma an kara kaga ya za a yi sai mun ji rayuwa Allah zai yi da mu kawai amma batun sauki kam gaskiya su suka sani amma kan mu mun san shi kwanakin nan da aka kara gwara ma a ce kawai dad din da suka san ya zama ya yazo ya wuce kawai saboda ba wani alheri saboda kasuwanci ya tsaya ko transfer za a ma kudi kafin ya zo sai an jinkirta wani sai kosoma ya zauna ma yana sauri yana so ya tafi kudi bai zo ba dole sai ya jira to wani kuma kasuwancin muna mai dan karfi wani zai tura ma 40 wani 250 to abin sai ya zama jinkiri kaga irin su 200 saka ya bar mutun ya tafi to gaba daya kasuwar ya zama kowa ma baya so ya shiga Allah ba wani alkhairi a gara wannan dai ba shine karo na farko da ake canjin kudi a Najeriya ba ko da a shekarar 1984 an canja kudi 
wanda kuma ya haifar da koma baya ga tattalin arzikin al'umma da dama gaskiya lokacin da aka canja na baya zamanin soja ne ba kaman irin ne yanzu bane lokacin mutanen Najeriya ba su da yawa sannan a lokacin kowa yana ta kansa ne ba maganan cewa ka tsaya ka jira wani ya maka lokacin ya shafi mutane da suka yi dogoro da abin da ya shafi kudin banki a lokacin wanda suke kauyuka karkara su farin kudi ba matsalan su bane sosai saboda su lokacin a wato suna adana ma da ne irin su kayan abinci dabbobi sai yan kasa gine gine da sauran su wanda lokacin su ne suke kasuwanci na farin kudi su ne abin ya fi shafa wancan ma lokacin Allah da ya kwansa lokacin shugaba Muhammadu Buhari ne wannan ma kuma lokacin sai a baya bayan nan ne dai gwamnatin babban bankin Najeriya Godwin Emefile yace za su yi kokarin bullo da wani tsari wanda zai ba wa mutane damar kaiwa tsaffin kudaden su banki dan mu sanya su da sabbi ko da a bayan wa'adin da aka sanya ni Husaina Muhammad Taskar VOA daga Meduguri a Najeriya Dr Said Tafida idan na sake dawowa gare ka yan kasuwa suna rufe guraren sa na o'in su sannan mutane suna fuskantar kalubale wajen canza mako dan tsofaffun kudin su shin anya an yi koyi da darasi daga abin da ya faru a shekarar 1984 aje a zara akalla zan ce ba ai ba because waɗanda suke raye a lokacin sun san cewa har da tension na wato har da matsatsi da aka yi na lokacin shi yasa ita kanta mulkin soji suka samu yancin yin abin da suka yi ba mu fatan mulkin soja ta dawo don an wahala amma muna son a san cewa abin da aka dauka yanzu ake so a yi ba mafita ba ne hasace ya nuna duk duniya ita kanta wato cash in circulation a samu kudi yana yawo a hannun mutane yana cikin abin da ke bunkasa tattalin arziki ita kuma rage kudin yana cikin abin da ke ragewa wai masu ba su mai tunani cewa ita kanta kudi na da amfani ba kuma duk duniya inda aka duba misali a kasan amurka daga inda muke magana kusan kashi 10 na GDP wanda GDP in America it's in trillions of dollars kashi 10 na GDP na America is in cash in circulation amma duk da haka mu a Nigeria yanzu wanda ake da kasa da 1.5 dollars 1.5% na na GDP wato um, ma'aunin arziki wanda ke a cikin hannun mutane still an ce yayewa mu fita mun nuna cewa ba laifi bane canja kudi daga lokaci zuwa lokaci amma a tsananta a ce sai an wahal da jama'a kamun a yi shi matsaloli yake kawowa da yawa wanda yanzu mun fara gane su wanda ya kai ga gashi ana rufe kasuwanni wanda ya kai ga gashi mutane na ta koma baya wai abin da mu ake so a ce anan shine wai wanda yake zaune tunda yake shi ya saba saye da sayarwa ne a kasuwan gargajiya wanda ya saba ne tun farko ya kai kayan abinci a bashi yazo ya fara ya kai a bashi takaddun kudi wai shi yau ake so ya tashi sakandare lokaci guda ya iya banki ya iya transfer ya karbi kudin tsakani yan kwanaki 10 ko kuma goma da suka rage ko ko yayi asarin kudin shi wannan ba daidai bane wannan ba hanya na tattalin arziki bane akwai tabbacin cewa akwai harkan siyasa a cikin wannan al'amarin because an sani da cewa bayan shi yawanci ba a so ya zama wai akwai kudi ne a hannu kamun zaben shugaban kasa saboda ka a rika sayan vote wato ka a sayi hannun riu da shi amma maganan gaskiya ya isa a galla zama jama'a wanda shi zai iya sawa har ga zaben ma ba za a yi ba shekaran jiya da jiya hatta da POS din yayi crashing saboda prejo na jama'a da suka koma kanshi overnight wannan ish wannan abubuwa ne da za su iya kawo mata tattalin arzikin gaba daya ta kawo ta tashi tashi hankaluka wanda mun fara gane su MPOS yanzu yau cikin wasa har rubutawa ake a social media where how much is nera to nera wato nera nawa ake sai da nera an zaka sayi nera yanzu in kana son kudi a POS in kana son dubu biyar in baka hankali ba sai an karbi nera dubu hannunka wannan ba daidai bane wannan illa ne ga matattalin tattalin arziki wannan illa ne da su kansu yan siyasa inda sun tsaya sun lura amma kuma saboda wasu yan dalilai kanana wanda suka doka suka tsaya sun tsaya akai kuma ita kanta gwamnatin ba ta ba ta tsaya ta kwaya ba so jama'a ni dai shawara anan shine ai hakuri amma kuma ita gwamnati ya kamata hankalta 
ta san cewa wannan abu ne mai illa ga ita matattal arziki musamman ga jama'an Najeriya da suka fiyawa wanda suna karkara kuma sun dogara ga nera 10 nera 20 don saye da sayarwar su to kana ganin menene ma fita ma fita babba shine su wanda ke wakiltan mu su tsaya su tabbatar wanda yanzu sun tsaya suna ta ja suna ta kokarin fitarwa amma kuma ita masu linzami a hannu wato executive sun ki daukan abun kowa na gani kaman suna kokari ne saboda ka yan siyasa su samu kudi a hannu yan siyasan nan yanzu ko ana so ko ba a so a cikin wannan kudin da ke hannu ai shi yasa banko na ba su bayarwa shi shiga babban banki ya ma fito ya ci ai kowace banki yana ba kudi to ina suke a she yan siyasan still suna karba kaga kenan har yanzu fa ita kulliya bata biya kudin sabulu ba a tsaye da wannan abu a ce daga yanzu an kara zuwa december kowa ya dawo da kudin da ke hannun shi ga sabon kudi na shiga ba komai bane shine ma za a samu abin da ake so a gyara shi cikin lokaci amma ba wai a ce dare daya an katse shi wanda ba zai kawo mana amfana ba to dr sa'id tafida muna godiya barka da kasancewa tare da mu a cikin shirin jama'a barka Kungiyar kare haƙƙin bil Adama ta Human Right Watch ta ce an samu matsalolin taƙi haƙƙin dan adam a duniya a cikin shekarar da ta gabata kama daga Ukraine zuwa China zuwa Afghanistan a cikin rahotanta na shekara shekara na baya bayan nan kungiyar ta ce duk da haka an samu sabbin kasashe da suka jajirce wajen kare haƙƙin bil Adama Henry Ridgewell ya hada mana wannan rahotan Kungiyar kare haƙƙin bil Adama ta Human Right Watch ta ce bayan da mamayar Russia ta yi wa Ukraine al'ummar duniya sun cancanci yabo saboda abin da ta kira cikakken makamin kare haƙin bil adam cike har da bincike da kotun hukunta manyan laifuka ta duniya ta yi we saw immediate responses from the international community mun ga martanan nan da nan daga al'omun kasa da kasa na ba da muhimmantar lafin kare haƙin bil adama gami da kafa hanyoyin tabbatar da adalci ta hanyar tattara shedin aikata laifukan yaki a garuruwa irin su Bucha da Izium akwai kwararrun shedu da ke nuna cewa sojojin Rasha da suka mamaye suna azabtar da fararen hula da fade da kisa hukumar kare hakokin nan adam ta majalisar dinkin duniya ta tattara daruruwan bayanan kashe kashen fararen hula wanda ake tunanin wani kasoni na adadin in some cases russian soldiers execute a wasu lokuta sojojin Rasha sun kashe fararen hula a wuraren da ake tsare da su wasu kuma an kashe sanan taki bayan bincike tsaro a gidajen su rahotan shekara shekara na human right watch ya kuma nuna yadda ake ci gaba da cin zarafi a kasa china cike har da tsare jama'a da azabtarwa da kuma tilasta musulmai miliyan guda a yankin shinjan yin aiki bai jin ta musunta zargin rahotan ya ce hukumar kare haƙin bil adama ta majalisar dinkin duniya ta kare yin nazari kan ayyukan da bejin ke yi what we have seen abin da muka gani a karan farko cikin dogon lokaci shine an gwada masu iko a iran zanga zanga ta biyo bayan mutuwar mahasa amini bayan da yan sanda suka tsare ta kuma zanga zangar adawa da gwamnati a fadin kasar kungiyar kare haƙin bil adama ta human rights watch ta ce hukuncin rate masu zanga zanga a kallo hudu ya haifar da martani mai karfi a duniya we need to move beyond muna bukata wuce gona da iri ga masu zanga zangar muna bukata tabbatar da cewa gwamnatoci a duk fadin duniya sun rike jami'an iran kan abin da suka aikata rahotan yayi nuni da karuwar cin zarafin bil adama a Myanmar inda marubutan suka ce gwamnatin kasar na kai hara harakan al'umomin kasar da ke adawa da jiyun mulkin da sojoji suka yi a habasha kungiyar kare haƙin bil adama ta human right watch ta ce shirin zaman lafiya da kungiyar tarayya afrika ta yi a baya bayan nan ya haifar da da mai ido ensuring that there is accountability for the agreed tabbatar da cewa akwai alhakin manyan laifukan da suka fara a yankin na tigiri alan misali zai kasance mai muhimmanci ga wannan tsagai ta wuta da kuma kawo karshen fadan a zahiri rahotan ya ce sauyin yanayi na kare yin tasiri akan haƙin dan adam a duniya ya ce gwamnatoci suna da haƙi na doka da sanin ya kamata dan daidaitar masana'antu kamar hakan mai da basu dace da kare haƙin bil adama ba mas kallon mu anan muka kawo ƙarshen shirin mu na wannan mako sai kuma mako mai zuwa idan Allah ya kai mu za mu ka muku wani sabon shirin taskar VOA domin sake kallon wannan shirin da masu sauran shirye-shiryen mu na baya sai a ziyarci shafukan mu kamar yadda suka bayyana a jikin talabijin dinku muna godiya gare ku masu kallon mu da ma dukkanin wadanda suka taimaka wajen hada wannan shiri har yazo gare ku 
Zahra Aminu Fagetti daga nan Washington DC nake cewa mu kasance lafiya.